What up? Uh, today, I just wanted to talk about my carbon file here um, and kind of how I went about making everything and getting a little bit deeper into the assets and carbon itself. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the scene. Uh, I'm going to turn some work lights on so we kind of get a better idea of it. Um, so this kind of sets the scene a little bit. There's some truss. There are some carbon fixtures down here. This is the carbon decking. Uh, most of the assets I got were from cgtrader.com or 3DS Warehouse. Uh, I don't have... My 30-day trial of SketchUp has ended, so I don't have... I can't show you guys the process. But basically what I would do is I would find something on 3DS Warehouse that I would like and I would download it, import it, uh, sorry, open it up in SketchUp and then export it as a .fbx file. And if you take a quick look down here, you can see um, I have some of the things that I've got, a rusty car, shipping container, and uh, that Grand MA2, which is a lot of different parts, but this one particularly was from uh, 3DS Warehouse. Um, some of the other assets I got from Quixel Bridge, which is an awesome plugin. You should definitely be using it if you're using Unreal Engine. Uh, it's free. <clears throat> so that kind of that kind of takes care of the assets, um, you know. And I just scattered them around to your taste. Um, some of the textures on the shipping containers, for example, I had to kind of light them up or you would just never see them. Whoops, I did definitely hit the wrong button there. Uh, but you can see now that that's gone, you can see that it doesn't even show up unless it's properly lit. So I lit them with um, just regular spotlights that weren't DMX controlled, just to kind of give the scene a little bit of an undertone. Same thing with the desk lights down here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, going into the carbon side, um, I just have a I have a simple Artnet connection that's coming over a uh, ten dot address, and this is kind of where you would select the NIC from your computers. Um, I have a couple different NICs right now, but the one that Carbon should be listening to is the ten dot address. Um, we can go over into MA in a little bit and take a look at the network settings over there. Um, in the library tab of Carbon, it kind of gives you all the fixtures that they've implemented, and I've used a couple. I'm limited to two universes, so only 1,024 channels, so I was kind of um, limited into how many fixtures I can go crazy with. I used um, a couple points, a couple mega points, um, a couple Chave Strike 4s, uh, a couple GLP X. 420 bars and some GLP uh, impressions and I've just kind of scattered those throughout the rig same thing with the truss here this is all from uh, the carbon library so if we go down and take a look at our staging and just grabbed a couple of decks here and the same thing with our truss got some wonderful black truss that I've used in this um, a patch tab, I haven't really used this tab too much, I'll say. Um, I do a lot of the patching and fixture data stuff over here. Um, and we'll, we can actually jump to that right now. So now that we have this uh, GLP here selected um, in the details tab, you can see in the patch data, it'll allow you to change the mode and give it a fixture number and apply it a patch. Um, once, once I have patched uh, kind of all of my fixtures here, then what I'll do is I'll usually just kind of refresh this page and uh, it will kind of auto-populate. Uh, I haven't messed around with the environment tab at all, to be honest. 
So I can't speak on that too, too much. Um, I definitely keep my FPS on in the debug menu. I've sent a couple things. Um, but I really don't have any complaints at the moment with this software. Um, one of the harder things I've... Well, the, har the harder thing for me has just been Unreal Engine as DMX and, and Previz comes more... I don't want to say comes more naturally to me because it doesn't come naturally to anybody, but I've just been um, aware of that longer and I've been doing that process longer. So that wasn't the hard process to implement in Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine was the hard process for me. And in the account window, I'll blur this out because I'm not really sure the deal. But today is the last day of the Made with Carbon license, and I'm definitely going to be buying it, but I just wanted to make the video, this video, before my license expired. So that's in the Carbon uh, Core tab here. Let's jump over to the Carbon Toolbox. Um, again, I, I haven't used these patch settings really too much at all. Um, same thing with these fixtures and stuff. This, these fixture tab, all I've done is gone to library and found a fixture. I'll right click and it'll insert into the scene at zero, zero. If you hit F, it'll go right to the fixture. And then I've just kind of drag and dropped from there. I'm not sure if that's the most efficient way to do it. That's the way I've been doing it. Um, so back in the toolbox here, same thing with transform. I don't know what this transforms or where or how I haven't used it. Um, but what I have used in this toolbox here is the DMX recorder. And this is a little tricky, but it's a lot more straightforward than it was at the beginning. So what you'll do is you'll open this up and it gives you great instructions. I've made a carbon folder so that you can see most of my fixtures are already in here. We're going to hit all on. This will select it for recording. Um, we will arm it for recording and now we're able to play back our DMX. So let's just minimize this window for a quick sec. We'll hit play. And we should be live. Let's take a quick look. I don't have any. We're going to go into MA for a quick second. And let's just toggle through some of our stuff. So you can see the DMX moving and we can see our GLP is coming on. Let's go to one more queue. It's a little more obvious queue. And yep, now we can see that the DMX is hap oh, we'll go back to un and then we'll go back to Unreal. Yep, and now we can see that the DMX is happening live and if we go into our connection window here, we can see that in universe 1 our DMX is uh DMXing. And the same thing with Universe 2. We're uh, getting data over that as well. Um, so if I just toggle through a couple cues here, you can see it's kind of doing its thing. So now that we are able to play our DMX live, um, we can see it here. Uh, what you would do to render out a sequence would be um, you would use Take Recorder. Um, I'll probably make another video just for the whole process of take recorder and going back into uh, the DMX recorder, arming for recording, playback and all that stuff. Uh, it's definitely worthy of its own video because the process can be a little challenging, um, especially if you want to add other things like camera movements or some um, things that have different blueprint settings. For example, some of the uh, special effects um, it takes a little bit of tweaking of the blueprints to actually render out via sequencer. So that'll be in another video. Um, again, for me, programming the DMX was the easy part. It was kind of getting everything working with Unreal Engine. That was um, slightly harder, but slightly not. Um, I will throw up a kind of a system block diagram of how everything was cabled. I am using a laptop um, with a Grand MA node as my console and I'm sending Artnet basically into my Unreal Engine server. Um, and then this is how I'm creating this visualization here. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool. 
Um, I definitely want to try to use carbon on a show sometime in 2021. I think the design, um, or let me say the abilities of Unreal Engine could be incredible for design previs and just showing things to clients that I wasn't able to show things before. So I've been learning it and I'm going to keep learning it. Um, it's probably going to be it for now. That's kind of my little mini introduction to Carbon. And as I get back into or as I get more into it, I'll say um, I'm going to keep you guys updated. I know the guys over there are working on, you know, library update, fix your library updates and all sorts of awesome stuff. Um, so as soon as anything. So. So, yeah. Um, so with that being said, you know, check out my Made with Carbon uh, submission. The contest is over at this point. Um, unfortunately, I didn't win anything, but I was very happy to participate in. So take a look at the at my submission um, and let me know what you think. And yeah.